how to use ConvertKit tutorial for beginners. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get started with ConvertKit and set up your account and start making money. So let's get into it. Now, ConvertKit is a very simple and easy to use platform, which you can use for your email marketing, for digital marketing. And ConvertKit basically enables you to manage all of your clients and manage your entire clients on one simple platform. Now, to get started with ConvertKit, all you have to do is click on sign up for free at the top right over here and once you click on sign up for free you're just going to enter your email address and your password but i am just going to log on to my account the one that i have previously created or all you have to do is just enter a password and a email address so i am just going to verify this is me via my gmail and now just like this, I have continued on to my ConvertKit account. So what is ConvertKit and how do you actually get started on the ConvertKit platform? Well, on your top left, you have your different sections like your navigation panel. So on your navigation panel, you have grow, you have send, you have automate, you have earn, and you have learn. So these are just some of the basic functions of the ConvertKit application. And then on your top right, you have your basic account settings and a logout system so to get started with ConvertKit all you have to do is you're going to click on grow over here click on subscribers and over here you can see the total subscribers that you had and the new subscribers the purchases and the unsubscribes as well and you have all of your detailed statistics present over here as well and then what you're going to do is click on add subscribers and from here what you can do is import a csv file add a single subscriber or import from another provider so if you already have a list of your email contacts your leads you can just import them in via a csv file but if you don't you can just click on add single subscriber and all you have to do is enter their email address and first name so that is how simple and easy it is to add different subscribers now after that you have your landing pages and forums so landing pages and forums is another great section on convertkit where you can build different landing pages and forms for your customers or your clientele and you can just click on create a landing page over here and once you do that you can use one of the attractive themes that are available to you for creating your page so you can just use one of these themes and customize it to make it your own and this is especially amazing when you are promoting affiliate products you're doing affiliate marketing it's going to be a very useful tool when you do that and next up you have your send section so once you have added your subscribers and set up your landing page or set up your email collector or whatever kind of website you might even have you can start sending automated emails to your entire clientele so you can click on email templates over here and in the email templates you can click on new email template and you can create a template like let's say you can create a template like get 12% off with this coupon code and send this to your entire customer base or get 10% off site-wide or um, get 20% off the certain product. You can provide any kind of email template and you can use one of these templates that have been provided by ConvertKit for you to send and just customize this and enter your own text and in your send option not only you have email templates but you also have broadcasts so you can choose to create different broadcasts but just by clicking on new broadcast over here and once you click on new broadcast you can see that um let's say this is going to be our subject line so our subject line could be thank you for joining and then below that i'm going to add my actual body text so this is just going to be the subject line below that i have my um, body text that i can add and you can just click on continue once you have finished adding your body text and now you can see you have your email address that you can choose from which one you want to send it from i want to send it from this email address and then you have your who would you like to send this to so let's say i want to send this to all subscribers or maybe i want to add filter so i would just click on add filter and maybe who have a subscription date after the first of april so maybe i only want to send this thank you for joining our email list to everyone that has joined after the first of april so you can filter out different categories like so when you're sending your emails and this will allow you to add specific emails targeted to a specific uh, part of your customer audience you can send emails like so and this will make it more accurate to what they receive what your customers receive will actually feel a lot more tailored instead of
up being a very generic thank you or welcome list and then you're just going to click on continue over here and once you do that you're going to click on send broadcast and just like that you have sent your broadcast to the people in your contact list and you can add multiple different people you can add different sections within the contact list for you to easily distribute emails or broadcasts accordingly and then you also have features like sequences so um, maybe if someone um, purchases a product then you can provide them with a thank you email and then you can provide them with a um discount for their next purchase or something like that but this is only available on the premium version of ConvertKit. Now after that you also have another feature which is snippets where you will have different content blocks that you can add onto your emails. Uh, this is a great feature but I feel like if you're starting off with ConvertKit just play around with the other features and leave this for later on and once you get the hang of it then you can start using this feature as well. Now after that you have your automate section and on your automate sections you can create different rules and that could serve as your automation so if this then rules where you can add like if someone opens your initial welcome email then you send them another email um, for a discount and then if they open that email as well you send them another follow-up email of whether they purchased yet or not or something like that and then you also have visual automations where you can create your sales funnels but uh, these kinds of automations sometimes feel a bit outdated I do prefer the rules one to be the most useful out of all of these automations. Now, after that, you have your products, tip jars, and payouts. So if you're selling any kind of product, you can also set that up over here. And if you're selling any tip jars, so if you have like a page where people would like to contribute to you, then you can also set up your tip jar on your ConvertKit landing page for people to anonymously or non-anonymously donate to you. Now, ConvertKit has a lot of different amazing features but their email marketing that I showed you guys how you can send broadcast emails how you can create email templates have to be some of their most useful and powerful tools and I find these functions to be highly highly effective and useful especially if you're using them for free because it's going to cost you nothing to be able to automate these functions with ConvertKit but talking about the price of ConvertKit uh, let's just open up the pricing plan so you can see over here ConvertKit has the free version where you can create unlimited landing page and forms, send broadcast emails, sell digital products and subscriptions, and have community support. Then you have the trial version of the creator version. So then you have the creator version starting at $9 where you also have a live chat and email support. You have free migration from other tools and automated funnels and sequences. So if you go on to ConvertKit, you have all these automation functions. All of these will only be uh, available to you if you're using the $9 per month version of ConvertKit and then you also have the creator pro version starting at $25 per month where you have unlimited landing pages and forums, subscriber scoring, uh, newsletter or referral system, Facebook custom audience, advanced reporting and so much more. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with ConvertKit and choose the best plan for you as well. If you have any questions about the platform leave them in the comment box down below and make sure to also leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video